Hey great friends, I've changed locations today because my neighbors are working on their house. So if you hear banging in the background, that's what that noise is. I came today to talk about my hair. As you can see, I got a haircut for those of you who didn't see me before. And um, I am going to put pictures in right here of how my hair looked before I got it cut. Now, these pictures are after I had already cut about two inches of hair off of my head because my ends were really split and damaged. And um, I had just used the Cream of Nature conditioner, which um, I used after I did the bentonite clay my wash, which left my hair really soft. Then I used that conditioner with the glycerin and the alcohol and immediately my hair got hard and uh, really nasty. I washed it out and um, I clipped my ends and um, it, it just, uh, it was, it was an ordeal. I put some uh, Shea Moisture Smoothie and Curly Souffle on it to soften it up and it did take a while for it to get soft again. But then after that I looked at it and um, in the picture I just showed you, you could see that my hair was longer around my, um, around my ears and it was hot. So I wanted, <laughs> I wanted my ears cut out so that my hair wouldn't be so hot because I have a lot of hair, y'all. Well, um, my daughter suggested her beautician who was taking care of her natural hair. And the lady said that she could cut um, natural hair. So I made an appointment. And um, I'm going to show you the picture that I showed her of how I wanted my hair cut right here. Well, I wanted the heart shape hair and um, you know, I, I have a lot of hair and I have a lot of textures. So when she began to uh, blow dry it, I really didn't mind. But then she used a razor to cut my hair and um yeah she used a razor a razor you know a, a electric razor to cut my hair and that i didn't mind either but she uh kept patting it and when it got to my ears i had to explain to her that i wanted my ears out and um so she did cut it well when i came back home and um i, I liked the cut It looked good, but when I started to touch my hair, I could see where the razor had cut my hair and it was thick on, on um, near the root, but the ends was very thin. So again, she cut two inches off and then I cut another two inches off to get my hair even. And so I have cut about six inches of hair off my head and I'm doing some padding now too because if you can look over this side, this side is much fuller than this side and I am tempted to cut it off but I, I keep patting it down because I'm trying to practice what I tell other people to do and that is to have patience. I am not going to cut it off and go back to the TWA stage. Um, I am going to let it grow out and then I will um, cut it when I need my ends clipped again. Um, also, my hair in here is different lengths and it's a bit choppy, but this is kind of how I want to wear it from now on. So I'm just pushing it up and, and moving with it. So that has been my hair situation for about the last two months that's why i haven't been posting a lot of pictures or showing you my hair this here is a um old 
flat twist, which I, I chunky twisted um, after I went out with Sweetie Cakes. And I kind of bantu knotted, um, if you can call it that. I, I kind of twisted it and, and did the end thing. And then I tucked it under like we used to do plaits back in the day. But um, this is how it came out. And I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's not tight on my scalp. Um, it has stretched my hair out a little bit. And it's got a little curl to it. So I'm okay with this. But this is my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I love you and God bless. See you tomorrow.